Well, hi there. Thank you so much for joining me today. Kendall Hailstone here. Today, I am going to be inoculating some straw with some brown beech uh, colonized rye grain, otherwise known as grain spawn. And I want to kind of show you my, my process here. And right now, I am in the process of pasteurizing the straw. Give you a, a look at here. I have it in a pot of water. You know, there's multiple different uh, methods of doing this, you know, as far as a uh, you know, process. You know, if you have bigger amounts, you'd use obviously a bigger pot. Uh, you know, recommends that you use some type of, of like, not like a filter, but a some type of like steeping bag to actually put the straw in to contain it. I'll probably just end up using like a, like what's called a colander to, you know, strain out the water just because I don't have that much. And it's going to be, um, I need to bring it to 100, between 160 and 170 degrees and let it stay there for an hour to pasteurize the straw. Then after that is done, I'm going to be um, putting it in this old uh, spinach container that I uh, bought from the store a while back and has a lid, see? Organic baby spinach, yeah, it's obviously backwards, but yeah, so I have a lid that I think this will work very nicely for my, uh, you know, my bulk substrate container, so to speak. Yeah, and then we'll, I'll show you uh, my process of inoculating the the pasteurized straw in the container and we'll get to that after the straw is fully pasteurized. Hey there, so the straw is just about done pasteurizing and so I'm actually down here and I have this laminar flow hood. It's not really a hood but it's a, it's a box that my uh, business partner Michael Garnett and I built with the help of uh, my friend Kylie and this is going to be creating a, a clean stream of air coming out of this is a, a HEPA filter right here that kind of corrugated uh, you know kind of silver stuff you see right there and it's uh, it's called a laminar flow this clean air that is going to be coming out and this is going to be my work area right here where I'll do where I will do the inoculation and so right now I have my uh, isopropyl alcohol and so I'm going to go ahead and spray this down and give it a good wipe down and I'll also spray down the the uh, the container that I showed you earlier the, the old uh, this old spinach container I'll spray this down too to make sure this is nice and clean and then yes and then after I have all this good stuff wiped down I'm going to go upstairs and I will strain out the straw and we'll let it cool for a little bit and then we will do our inoculation so woo! but first here let me show you this, uh, this brown beach grain spawn I'm in here it looks very healthy you know it's even run up the glass even where there wasn't any uh, rye grain it just it's just going crazy up there so it is totally ready we'll break it up in the jar before we do our inoculation and I'll show you what I use. I use, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, this kind of thick foam insulation. I use just to pound it on there. And so I'll just finish wiping this stuff down, and we'll get to that shortly. <laughs> All right. So here I have the straw that was pasteurized in, in this pot here. I have a colander in the sink, and so I'm just going to go ahead and pour this uh, the straw into the colander to drain all the water out. All right, so I'm going to let the straw cool for a few minutes here. And if you can see the steam coming out. And so you don't want it too hot, obviously, because it's otherwise it'll kill, kill our fungus and that would just be so sad. And so I'm gonna let this go ahead and cool for a few minutes and then we'll be back downstairs to inoculate the straw. Hee <laughs> hee, so exciting. All right, so the pasteurized straw is cooled down. And yes, I did get into my suit today just for you. Um, I'm not wearing a mask, you know, today like I, I may do otherwise, mainly just because I have this laminar flow hood that's going to be on and it's pretty loud so I turned it off. Wouldn't be able to hear what I say. But um, yeah, the laminar flow, the clean air is going to be blowing so I'm not too concerned with like, you know, having a mask on right now. But anyway, so yeah, the straw is cooled down. I let it cool to around 80 degrees and it'll be cooling, you know, as I'm, uh, you know, layering it in my... Um, my bulk substrate container here, and I have already broken up the 
grain spawn. Yeah, obviously it looks very different than before. And I'll be doing kind of like a layering in the in the bulk uh, container here. And I'll go ahead and do that right now. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so we have our colonized straw here in my used baby spinach container and I'm very excited, very excited indeed. Now I'm gonna go put it in the proof box where I had my grain spawn growing and I'll go and show you that here in my room. Alright, so here we are in my bedroom and there is the proof box and that's gonna go ahead in the proof box and that concludes this video and I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated on how it's grown and how it's looking and it, it'd be super cool if we can get some actual uh, mushrooms growing out of here. So, ah, so exciting. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your life. And I'll see you next time. You know, don't forget guys, get out of your comfort zone. Do face your fears. You know, growth happens outside of your comfort zone. I'm going to keep reminding you that. All right, take it easy guys. Peace. Bye.